The way that the program was set up, it was on a grid, so you don't pick your classes that you're taking, they give them to you in a specific order. Wow. So you're taking two classes a month, and so once you get used to one schedule, like for the month, mm -hmm. it flips on you, and then you have two new classes the next month. So I'd have class in the morning one month, and then I'd have class in the evening, and just oh it was just nonstop, but it was really cool because they do that to prepare you for the industry, because in, Interesting. I mean, I'm, you work at a radio station, like, you know, the radio is always playing. Studio sessions are all through the night, and yeah. depending on where you are, like when people are shooting movies, like they yeah. they don't care about what time it is. They just they're on schedule to get this movie done. So wow. um, it was really cool that they set it up like that, and so it was just really fast paced. I feel like the whole experience was a pivotal point for yeah. me because it it went by really fast. I, I feel like Full Sail was just like a big like stamp, like you know, part of the process. For Full Sail, we have a they have, there's a Grammy like celebration oh, every year cool. in the uh, in the there's a big like show production room. So they have a Grammy like ceremony. They put it up on the big screen. And I remember being there, we're all dressed up nice. They have food for us, they're giving out prizes. And they have someone call in on speakerphone. Shut and up. I forgot who exactly it was, but um, it was the engineer for Lady Gaga. Oh, He's wow. like, I'm sitting here at the Grammys, right behind Lady Gaga, like she's about to go up. And he was like, I really owe this moment to Full Sail. Wow. And so like for me, like I don't care if like none of us make it but the fact that he made it and he went here like that was enough for me wow so it was just like like okay well he can do it like that's all the hope I need like if one person can do it like I can do it as well yeah and and also like getting towards the end of my program um, one of my instructors also said or who in here wants to be an engineer and like a bunch of people in the class raised their hands and then he's like okay who in here wants to be a producer and couple people raise their hands and he's like all right all the engineers look at the producers and those are the guys that are gonna be hiring me and so like that was a, another kind of wake-up call to wow. me because I went there wanting to engineer which is recording okay. so I thought that's what I want to do and and when I got there um, I learned about songwriting and the process of that and how like most of the singers you listen to and that you have like albums of in your car or you listen to on Spotify most of them don't write their own stuff or if they do write they're also writing with other songwriters that people have no clue who they are yeah yeah so I started learning about that process and I was like I actually I still enjoyed writing I mean I wrote raps in high school but um, <laughs> you know I still enjoyed writing and actually working with a singer was really fun um, I did that on a couple occasions like a couple projects in in college so it really got me into that experience and then also um, producing like I we would try to find beats and stuff online and they just sucked and so <laughs> I started like trying to learn how to make my own and nice. I started um, teaching myself how to play the piano and um, I'm not phenomenal by any means but I, I can get by as far as like production and that was really a stamp as well like towards the end of my program like I think I actually want to do a little bit of everything I don't yeah. want to just be in one lane I, I want to do all of it which has been extremely helpful like in LA for me because mm. I, I do multiple things. Interview. So moving to LA, so you're about to graduate, you just got this this uh, call from this engineer who's sitting behind Lady Gaga at the Grammys, at your own personal Grammys, and you're about to graduate and you go up, you get your diploma, your family flies out, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. right? And they gave you the hugs and kisses, great job, now good luck in the real world. Yeah, yeah. so that was crazy. <laughs> I, I was so nervous like finishing school. Um, I had a couple of my friends like, a couple of my friends were going back up north to like New York area. Another friend was going back to Miami where he, he grew up. Um, and another friend I had was moving to Nashville um, to do the music scene out there. I really had to make like even more of a grown up decision for myself because when I went to school, like that was a big move as far as like, you know, being by myself, but all my friends were older than me yeah. that I met there. So my friends were going to different places. I didn't want to go to any of them. I, I wanted to just go where my friends were going, but at the same time, like I knew I would just kind of be following them yeah. and not really doing my own thing. And um, I just kind of had this tug on my heart to go back to the West Coast. Like I hated the humidity in Florida. <laughs> um, it was really far from home. Um, I'm really close with my family, so I, I would I love the thought of you know getting back with my family, and so I just you know I made the decision to come back to LA. I was like, well, it's close to home. Um, if I'm gonna really try to do anything in this industry, like why not go to the best place for it? Yeah, like the best place for for music, and that's 
pop in and it's they have pop music they have urban music they have everything there um, yeah. that I would want to be around so I decided to make the move out there I, I flew back to Arizona for like a week I was gonna stay for like a month ish but I was sending off resumes and stuff to a bunch of studios I got I got a call back from one of them they asked me to come in for an internship and so I went in for the internship interview I didn't get that internship at that studio I was staying with a couple family members in in LA crashing literally on the floor like at, at their apartment and I think like few weeks later after like daily like sending off resumes and resumes and doing more research on different studios I, I've got another interview at a different studio called Chalice Recording Studios it's in Hollywood and they, they asked me to come in I did it and they wanted to hire me so wow. but it, well they didn't want to hire me it was an internship program to clarify an internship means you are at the mercy of the studio <laughs> and you do not get paid yes so I was I did literally I was in the Cinderella stage of <laughs> of what it meant to like pursue the industry wow. and I was going in at like 6 p.m. and there's nights I would get off like at 9 in the morning like 6 p.m. to 9 in the morning wow. non-stop I'm I'm doing in... what <laughs> what do you do for that many hours you 15 hours are, you're going on food runs like countless food runs back to back <sighs> even to the same exact place like for the same exact room time knows that I Get over you